Okay, so hey everyone, my name is Adi. I'm working as a Java trainer at Veracity Software Private Limited, Pune. Today, I'm going to take a mock interview with our old batch student, that is Siddi. This mock interview is very helpful for every student who is looking job in the IT. Okay, so let's continue this video till end. You will get the very, very good knowledge about core Java, advanced Java, and some of these Spring Boot concepts. Okay, and if you are new in our channel, so don't forget to subscribe okay so hello Siddiq hello sir how are you fine sir. okay so can you tell me something about yourself to our audience okay sir so first of all thank you for giving me this opportunity okay my name is Siddiq Sheikh and mm. currently I am in my third year doing BCA from Abeda Inamdar College okay and along with that I am pursuing Java full stack development course from Veracity Softwares okay and till now I have completed core Java mm -hmm. in core Java we have completed oops, exception handling, okay. file handling, collections, return type, etc. Okay, good, no problem. I will ask some questions to you on the core Java. Okay, can you tell me like what is constructor in Java? Okay, so constructor is a special type of method mm -hmm. which is used to initialize the object. Okay, and the constructor name should be same as the class name okay. and it does not have any return type. Okay. And there are two types of constructor default constructor and parameterized constructor okay but why to use constructor what is the advantage the advantage is that we can initialize the object okay firstly. okay okay no problem what is the difference between method overloading and method overriding so method hmm. overloading means a child class extending parent class and like redefining no, overloading over you are talking about overriding overloading and overriding okay so overloading means me same method name mm -hmm. but different parameters okay. is known as overloading, overloading right and overriding means mm -hmm. child class overriding the method of yes. parent class okay any other difference uh, it it's uh, overloading comes under compile time polymorphism okay and overriding comes under runtime polymorphism very good, very good. okay any any other difference you know Okay. Okay. No it problem. It is checked at compile time and it is checked uh, overriding checked at runtime. Right. Okay. You know the concept of dynamic dispatch. Dynamic dispatch. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can give the reference variable of parent class mm -hmm. known as dynamic dispatch. Are you sure? Just giving the reference of parent class it is called dynamic dispatch. Guys, comment down the answer of this question. What is dynamic dispatch concept? Okay. Okay. Fine. No problem. Okay, Siddiq. So, you know about exception handling in Java? Yes, I know. How to handle the exception? We can handle the exception using try trace block. Okay, any other way? We're using throws keyword. Throws keyword. Okay. Okay. What is like difference between throw and throws? So, throw is used to like explicitly throw an exception. Mm -hmm. And throws is used in method that this method can throw an exception. Okay. Okay. I like what is the process to create user defined exception it's also called custom exception right so how we can create the custom exception in java what is the process we need to follow first we need to like create a class okay. of that exception name mm -hmm. and uh, create a method okay like message and okay. inside it we can call we need to extend the exception class okay and we we need to call the pair like message using super keyword okay 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 fine okay i will ask some question on the collection also okay you know collection yes what is collection collection is a set of interface and classes mm -hmm. where it's provide the ready-made data structures mm -hmm. so that it can store and manipulate the group of object okay what is the difference between array and collection array and collection okay so array is like static and collection is dynamic okay and inside collection we have array list mm -hmm. and the difference between array and array list that array stores need to give the mm -hmm. capacity yes. like okay oh, default size, size. Mm -hmm. and array list is dynamic it grows and shrink accordingly okay 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 good good Siddiq. See very basic concept that is ZDK, JRE, JVM. 
can you differentiate in between that what is jdk what is jarin what is jbm okay so jdk stand for java mm. development kit mm. and uh, it is used to like run debug compile uh, our java applications okay. and it contains contains java c which is java compiler right and uh, which is used to like convert the source code into bytecode okay and in, inside it include jre mm -hmm. jre means java runtime environment mm -hmm. that provides the or all essential libraries and packages packages like java.lang java.util mm. java.io java right and okay. inside it it contains jvm mm -hmm. jvm is java virtual machine okay it is a abstract machine used mm -hmm. to convert bytecode into machine code okay and it has class loader bytecode verifier memory mm. areas like right. heap stack pc register mm -hmm. and execution engine inside it we have jit compiler interpreter garbage collector okay good lots of things you know about the jvm very good okay so sidik so there is a concept in java that is something called file handling right yes. so how we can create the file in java first we need to create the object of file class mm. and using the variable name reference variable name create new file we need to call the create new file method. method okay inside that object we need to pass the path uh, as path well right yes okay fine tell me some like tell me any five interface names in java that are predefined any five interface predefined interface yeah. okay list mm -hmm. set queue mm -hmm. DQ okay and uh, map very good very good uh, what is object class and uh, you know some methods of object class so object class is a parent class of all objects all classes all classes okay. and uh, methods of two string mm -hmm. two string is a method of object class mm -hmm. and uh, print ln mm -hmm. okay and uh, print ln is a method of object class system okay not system also print stream class print stream class okay any other method you have used or like you know about that okay no or no I problem don't. no problem it's okay you are not recalling at mm -hmm. the time okay fine 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 very good you like you know about the collection good right yes. so can you tell me uh some methods of array list class so methods of array list will be firstly mm -hmm. add dot mm -hmm. add method okay dot remove method mm -hmm. and uh, we have get method get method okay and uh, index of index of right mm -hmm. okay okay good 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 uh what is static keyword in java so static keyword is used for memory management and mm. if we declare fields and method as static okay it's belong to the class rather than instance of a class okay and it is common for all objects okay and we don't need to create object to access the static fields and methods we can directly access yes okay good what is local variable local variable is like a variable declare declare inside a specific mm. block okay method okay is known as local variable suppose if i uh, create a variable inside constructor parameter so it is local or instance it will be local it will be local yes. okay it is like only particular for the constructor block right what is the difference between local and instance variable so, local and instance variable so instance can be accessed throughout the all class mm -hmm. throughout the class and local can be only be accessed in that particular scope okay good see uh, in java there is one keyword that is final keyword mm -hmm. when we can use this final keyword and where we can use okay so final keyword is used to make like make the things constant like if we declare class as a final the okay. final can the class cannot be inherit and if we declare method as a final mm -hmm. the method cannot be override and if we okay. declare variable as a final the variable will be constant that means it cannot be changed okay can we make the constructor final uh, no we cannot make we cannot make okay 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 no problem good okay all guys who are seeing this interview see like in java there are some basic important concepts you need to know first of all that is object oriented programming okay 
inside that like abstraction is very important uh, then polymorphism concept is very, very important okay so Siddiq uh, you know about the concept of inheritance and in that why Java does not support the multiple inheritance what is the reason okay so inheritance is the process where one class mm -hmm. inherit another process mm -hmm. another class okay. and uh, Java does not support multiple inheritance because of ambiguity error or diamond problem okay where one class extending two class that mm -hmm. may mm -hmm. the class that may get confused if the both classes have the same method name okay okay so this is called ambiguity problem ambiguity. diamond problem okay how to resolve it we cannot resolve it but we can achieve multiple inheritance using interface how by extend implementing two interface implementing two interfaces we are implementing interface class no like again 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 can you tell me what is the answer how to resolve a, it? a class implementing two in interface okay okay like that <laughs> okay fine we need to implement two interfaces, two interfaces with the class then we can resolve it okay fine good no problem so see uh, you know the interface good at right inside interface can i create the constructor uh, yes after no i don't think so okay no, we, we cannot, cannot create we cannot the constructor create okay we cannot create the constructor in interface okay can you create the object of interface no we cannot create the object of interface can you create the object of abstract class no inside uh, abstract class can we take the constructor yes we can take, we can take the constructor very good very good so can you tell me we are not able to create the object of abstract class but we are able to take the constructor in abstract class so how exactly constructor will called the constructor will be called by like extended class by using super keyword okay that means we need to create the object of child class then automatically abstract class constructor got called okay okay good uh Siddiq, can you tell me difference between interface and abstract class okay so abstract class is declared using abstract keyword mm -hmm. and uh, abstract class can contains both abstract method and non abstract method okay and we can achieve 0 to 100 percent abstraction using abstract class and okay. interface is declared using interface keyword mm -hmm. and we can achieve 100 percent inter abstraction using interface and uh, it 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 only contain, contains mm -hmm. abstract method before java 7 java 7 or 8 8 java 8 before java 8 after the java 8 uh, we can contents uh, like instance method local instance yeah. method no yeah. like static method static method default, default method, method and abstract method private method private. abstract method already there right mm -hmm. so after the java version interface can contain private methods default methods and static methods you can add any number of okay okay good like there is a concept constructor the chaining mm -hmm. you heard about that yes. what is it constructor chaining is the process where one constructor calling another constructor mm -hmm. using this or super keyword okay. the statement should be first line of the constructor, constructor. Okay. we need to use this or this super also. can we use this and super both yes we can use this and super no sure only first line the constructor contains only first line of this or super i, I need to use both at a time no. Is, is it possible? Guys, what do you think? Can we use this and super inside the constructor at a time? I want to use both this as well as super. Is it possible? I'm not sure. It's not possible. We need to use only one, either this or either super. Okay. And it should be at the first line inside the constructor. Okay. Fine. So, uh, what is the difference between this and super? So this refers to the current class object mm -hmm. and super refers to the parent class object. Parent class object. Okay. 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 No problem. There are two types of methods, right? Instance method and static methods. What is the like advantage to create the static methods? The advantage of static method will be that we don't need to create the object mm -hmm. to like access it. Hmm. And second advantage will be that 
it will be common for all object like if okay. you want to declare like a students we have a data group of student mm -hmm. and the school name is same for all mm -hmm. we can declare it as the static okay okay no problem one question i want to ask you about like uh, instance and static method you are saying static method for the all objects right mm -hmm. and what is instance method instance method is specific for specific object like for every object it's different different the execution of the instance method is every object is different, different. For every object different okay no worries can you explain the main method public static wide main why it is public why it is like static mm -hmm. so public is access modifier okay. it, is, it is public be because jvm can access it mm -hmm. and it is static because we don't need to create the object or, or jvm need to create the object of that main method mm -hmm. and it is void because it does not return anything mm -hmm. and we have main okay main main method method name. Name. Okay. we cannot change anything like capital m or mm -hmm. a, main one mm -hmm. it should be main main okay and we have array of argument string array of arguments arguments okay it is taking string array of arguments as a parameter parameter can we change it we can only change the variable name okay if i change the like in, uh, instead of writing string array i am writing integer array no then jv will call this method no why it cannot be accessed because it only accept in string of array. Okay, JVM wants the only the no. structure of main method that is public static void main with the string array of argument. If you write any other things, JVM will not be called. But can you overload the main method? Yes, we can overload the main method. We can overload the main. Yes. Method. Can we overwrite? No, we cannot. Override. We cannot overwrite. Okay, because this is the static method. Static, static method we can't overwrite. Override. Okay, good. Siddiq having good knowledge about Core Java. Okay, and uh, you like know about advanced Java concept or Spring Boot something? You heard about something? No. Little bit. I have not completed. Okay, just Stop. you have completed the Core, core Java. Java. So Siddiq having only knowledge about Core Java. Okay, good Siddiq. Thank you for joining our mock into session. Okay, it is very helpful for everyone. Okay, so guys, I want to just give a, a suggestion to everyone. Okay. If you're also looking the job in the IT or if you want to give the mock interview with us or if you want to make the career in IT, okay. So Veracity Software Private Limited is for you, okay. It is open for you. You can just come here and uh, groom yourself, okay, and make the career in IT. Thank you so much.